coop to thrill. Play to kill, I got too many chickens and too many quills. I got coop to thrill. Play to kill, I got too many chickens and too many quills. Here I am, Jenny again, out here on the uh, 10 week chick update. I'm out here outside in the run. All right, I guess I don't need this microphone anymore. I know it's been a while, but I'm outside in the run here with an ACDC update for you. Here we are outside in the run. This is where the chicks have been living uh, for about a month. They are happy and healthy. There's Barb just laying in the dirt. That's what she does. This is, and here comes little Rhody walking right over to the camera. If you can see her. Boop. Hello guys, there's Pat. They're very curious. Now this is their update. Um, last time we spoke, I had them in the brooder and um, they were pretty much ready to get out of there. Now uh, Terry built this run, which is surrounding me. I'm inside the run and that is the coop. So the chicks live inside the coop, which is inside the run. And we are happy and healthy out here. The chicks live inside that and uh, they are secured from all predators on all sides. Above, surrounded, and that is what makes me comfortable because out here in the Pine Barrens we have coyotes, we have foxes, and I'm not willing to risk that. So what else do we have going on? The chicks are pretty cool. They have these little dust bathing areas which you probably can't tell because I raked it yesterday, but like over here where uh, Beetlejuice is, where some of these feathers are, are dust bathing areas. And what the chicks likes to do are um, just kind of clean themselves off with from parasites or mites or anything that bothers them. They just like lay down and dust their feathers off. It's very cute. And I, I posted a video about it on Instagram and Facebook a little while back and it's one of the most heart melting things I've ever seen. It's, it's very cool. And uh, they just kind of find a dirty spot, not a dirty spot, but a, a sandy spot or a pat patch of dirt that does not have poop in it. And they just go to town on it. Right guys, there's Beetlejuice, there's Barb, and uh, there's a little roadie in the back. And over here we have Pat who is uh, tending to herself. We are 99% sure she or he is a rooster. Which is quite fine. We're gonna keep. We're gonna keep them anyway, because they uh, they actually add a lot of benefits to the flock, as well as keeping peace amongst the hens. Should there ever be uh, a predator that dares to approach this area, that mofo is gonna hear it from, or will hear it from a mile away. And um, Pat will do a very good job with with taking care of the rest of the hens here. Now under here, I've lifted up their food and drink. Uh, we have it affixed here underneath the coop. This keeps it safe from the elements, so I don't have to change it every single day. It's kind of nice. And uh, what else was I gonna show you? So these are the nesting boxes on either side of the, the coop. These guys aren't, are only 10 weeks old. They're not gonna start laying any eggs for months now because uh, they're so young still, which is cool, that's fine. And um, Terry was handy enough to build this wonderful contraption for us, uh, as well as this cool little ladder. So they go in and out of the coop every single night without us having to manually bring them in and out, which was a pain in the ass in the beginning when they first started coming out here. And over here I have this kind of makeshift, this was a dusting experimental dust bath thing that's kind of filled with poop and sand and I feel like it. I don't know. We'll see if that actually works. But anyway, that's about it. It's working so far. So good here in Chamong. So I encourage anybody who likes companionship, a hobby, and uh, cool personalities of these chicks to try it out yourself. I think she likes my hat.